Well, today I'm going to work my way down to the market and pick up some fresh ingredients so we can all celebrate Cinco de Cuatro as a family. fried beans. I'm going to leave that up to my friends at Rosarita's. Fresh peppers. These ones are looking a little worn. And at this kind of price, I guess I'm going to have to just bite the bullet. As most of you know, I make everything from scratch. But today I can't do it. For making corn tortillas, well, I'm missing a few ingredients. Firstly, I don't have the corn. And if I did, I don't have the time to dry it, to mill it, to turn it to flour. All the way around, like so. And it all splits apart like that. To get the pit out, just simply, and it's gone. Next part is, of course, fleshing it out. Some people use a spoon, some people peel around. I prefer to kind of peel. Sometimes I'll just give it a little cut. If it's got a thick hide, and away we go. Simply just put it in a bowl when you're done. And it'll be ready for mashing. Okay, this is a tough one. Let's see what we got there. Watch your fingers. Oh, geez, that was close. That was close. Oh my God! Ah. Mm. Mm. Man, I'm gonna need another bandage. Gee, snap! Oh, ah. damn, I hate that. Oh. Avocados. I decided I wanted to change bowls and holes. Bowls. There it is. I put them in there. Give myself a little bit more room when it comes time to mash them. Next, I'm gonna take the Roma tomatoes, and I and I'm. I'm going to cut these very easily and as I said earlier the seeds aren't, there's not that many seeds, they're actually quite easy to work with. I just kind of take it out like so and leave the meaty part right there. And what you can't see off of camera is I'm just dumping the, the seeds in, right into the sink here. I'm going to save those for later and dry those seeds out and I'm going to plant them in the backyard. I'm going to do that before the long weekend in May and hope to be able to reap the benefits by end of July. After cutting up the avocados and putting those in a bowl. Okay, besides avocados being the star, I also believe that the jalapeno is a very important agreement ingredient to use. A lot of people think it's rather too hot. Well, it's really the seeds that create the heat from the jalapeno. And I'm going to show you how I cut a jalapeno and not get too many seeds. And as you notice, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm not worried about the heat and the temperature and getting burnt by a jalapeno. As long as I don't rub my eye, I guess I'll be okay. So hear me scream throughout the center. Later in the episode, you'll know that I rub my eyes. So far, so good. Okay, coming up to the Spanish onion. Another easy one to, to work with. You don't need a whole lot of onion because you don't want it to, to overpower the taste of the, of the avocado and guacamole itself. I've already put garlic in there. I'm just going to put in a little bit of onion and then from that we'll add our cilantro and then our secret ingredient, which our secret ingredient will be just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, just to give it a little added touch. But slicing these up should be pretty simple. There's one, there's two, that's plenty of onions, and in they go. And a little bit of cilantro. Need a lot. I'm just going to take a little bit and then I'm going to quickly just kind of dice it up. Some people like this, some don't. I do, so it's going in. My kitchen, my recipe. Oh, look at that. You know, you can even smell it. It just smells wonderful. Go and we'll just 
that a little dash. Yeah. Mix that all up. We'll just set it aside in the refrigerator for a bit. Let the flavors blend. Get the salt just a little bit. There we go. It's always a good idea to taste too. Let me just see what we got here. Mm. Think that was too much salt. For making the tortilla chips, we're going to be using the deep fryer good idea to be using a hot temperature. I'm going to be using 190 degrees Celsius in order to get the right texture and color it off for these chips. Normally I would check the temperature with the oil with a the thermometer, but unfortunately I don't have one. And as you can see, you really can't see how hot it is. But I'm going to put my hand in briefly and, and it'll give me an idea. If it burns really fast, then I know it's at the temperature I want. So here we go. Let's go and slow. Here we go. Oh God! Oh, oh snap! Oh man, that hurt! Oh God! Oh, oh, ah. oh so Now it's time to cut the tortillas. So I've got the round tortillas now and I've taken probably about four or five of them. And then I'm going to cut... There we go. I've cut them up and those I'll put into the deep fryer and they'll be in the deep fryer for just about three minutes and the texture should be just right. Just waiting for the temperature to rise a bit. Yeah, so we just deep fry these just for a few minutes and uh, they'll turn a nice golden brown and they'll be ready to go. As you can see they're starting to pop up already. They've only been in just for a few seconds. Okay, and once I've taken them out of the deep fryer, I put them into this bowl, lightly salt them, and then flavor them just a bit with uh, some of some toxic 